there's this disparity between what happens in the office and what happens in schools. And in schools, we've, for the last 200 years, we've made kids sit, sit up straight and face forward and not move. Yet in the office, we've been allowed to move and have the chairs that tilt and so on for you know 30 years. And we realised that through our research, through research, we realised that actually to concentrate, you need to move. And the minute you sit still, your brain starts to go into like power off mode. So instead of making the seat tip like this, we just reversed it and made the, put the angle on the thing and so it it's the same movement but passively. You need to actually physically put it next to a table or yeah. next to yourself or, or to, or to understand really understand how it feels in space yeah. too. You know, the saying goes that 90% of the work is done in 10% of the time. And I think when you're a creative person you need that kind of stress that comes from a deadline to really think sometimes. The table tops can be any size really. In, f in each corner there are four holes drilled, which are tapped. Then you have a bracket with lots of holes in, they're all numbered, and it means the brackets can go set in, come out, move round. So you can have um, round tables, square table, piezoid, they can stack or not. It's, it's, it's just very simple. It sounds quite boring, but It's actually... kind of idiot proof, really. Yeah, and I think um, our process is, is slightly, more, slightly more linear than it was. I mean, at the beginning we were just like this. Couldn't really, didn't really know where we were going. Yeah, I mean, any, anything's, anything's interesting. It depends on how you use it. But at each project, um, in the end, it sort of finds its own material.